Peace. Pretty soon you will not have the time to make money to save you. This is a complete fact. We're talking about global uncertainty. We've been speaking about the political polarization of global uncertainty. Go to brotherpolite.com and get your silver tsunami part two class to show you how to weave through the paradigm shift that is nearing. Okay, we're dealing with a global pandemic. We're dealing with the ushering in of cryptocurrency. And we, we're on the cusp of a Cold War II, if not a World War III. This is all the political polarization of global uncertainty. Get it together, people. Get it together. Yeah. Talk. <clears throat> Blessings in abundance. Then come out here and do my meditations. I like to watch the sunrise and get to work from there. And what comes to me, a lot of times I turn around and I'll start doing my live streams. Get prepared for our next installment for the nine income stream course. Next Saturday, nine income stream course. Show you nine different ways to make money off your phone. Go to brotherpolite.com for that. Let's get to it. But yes. And of course, we got to spend two thousand dollars. Get access to between anywhere between hundred k and three hundred thousand. Spend two k. Get access between one hundred k to three hundred k in credit. The reason why I created these opportunities is because we're on the cusp of World War II. I mean, Cold War II, if not World War III. Cold Wars is when they create sanctions to hinder people financially and politically without having to cause bloodshed. This is when a country says, well, we're going to suspend your ability to get energy from us. We're going to suspend your ability to get precious metals from us. And what it does is it impacts everybody globally because everybody has allies and then people go tit for tat back and forth. Cold wars affect the people immediately. <clears throat> immediately. You email me at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and phone number when you're ready to purchase the credit restoration microwave. I actually left it pinned to the top. Brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T 45 at gmail.com. <clears throat> Real talk. We're on the cusp of Cold War II or World War III. So pretty soon, you won't have the opportunity to make money on the last minute. Doesn't matter if you have bad credit, we fix the credit. So we can leverage your newly found credit disposition so you can get assets and funds. Doesn't matter if you think you have good credit because we have to confer or send correspondences to over 30 different financial institutions and credit bureaus. Because you have sometimes somebody with a 680 credit score has more credibility than a person with a 750 credit score. They're doing more with their 680 than someone's doing with their 750. There's a lot of different credit nuances. Yeah, Jamel Grant, I got it. I know exactly who you are. We definitely got it. So, you want to be careful with that. Yeah, we in a, we in a different day and age. Y'all got to wake up. Make your money now so you're not scrambling because gas prices ain't the only thing that's going to be going up. We're impacted based on agriculture and precious metals when it comes to Russia. So that it's, it goes both ways. America could put sanctions on them, but they could put sanctions on us and or our allies, which they will do. Real talk. Oh. It goes both ways. Don't just think we got the upper hand. We're talking about organic and inorganic. We're talking about organic and inorganic commodities. Shit is getting wild, and then you see they put millions of dollars into giving us syringes again to help us get off of drug addiction. Like, what the freak is going on with the Biden administration? Y'all better wake up and realize what's going on. Y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up.
Stop thinking shit is sweet. Keep living in this make believe Alice in Wonderland fairy tale that everything eventually just work yourself out and one day you'll just get access to the right money. No, you gotta study, you gotta research, or you gotta be connected to someone who's connected. Stop wasting time, stop procrastinating, make your money, get access to it now because when the shit really hits the fan, you, we got a whiff of it through this pandemic for like eight, nine months where we saw, oh shit, curfews, no jobs. Well, we still got the pandemic going on right now. And all we need for them to say is, there's yet another mutation that came out. That's not going to end anytime soon. And this crisis going over there in Russia and, and Ukraine, that's not ending no time soon. If, if they came to peace talks today, the impact and all the dirty talk amongst all the nations affects the economy. That's called the political polarization of global uncertainty. The price of living is going to be way too expensive for people globally. You're going to print more money than it is productivity. Hyperinflation. They're going to give you less food for more money. Food inflation. Then enough loans they can give out in the world. We talking about a global financial collapse. But the paradox and the oxymoron is make your money as soon as possible so you have an exit strategy. Whether it's to leave here, whether it's to have enough resources. Because this shit is gonna be the purge coupled with Grand Theft Auto. We seen it right now in people. They just keep these award shows and sports going on to have you manipulated and distracted from seeing what's really going on. Everybody should be studying as, as hard as possible for the right type of investments. So as long as you survive, the aftermath of all of this, you'll be wealthy. And most immediately, what you need right now as far as assets and resources. Everybody should be studying, investing, or getting access to money right now so they can put it somewhere where they need it. To protect you and your family, because... When the opportunities to make money is no longer available and every and everything costs too much damn money, what are you going to do then? The best time to plan for war is during the time of peace. Peace is damn near over. Make your bread. That's why I created the opportunity. Spend two thousand dollars to get access to anywhere between one hundred k to three hundred k. Side of forty five to sixty business days. Doesn't matter if you think you have good credit either. Because people with good credit still can't get a black card, still can't get a $200,000 loan, a $150,000 loan. Why? Because somebody with good credit, as an example, they may pay their mortgage or their rent. They may pay their rent, they may pay their phone bill, they may pay their light, they may pay their gas and never be late. <clears throat> they credit $750 for that. But why should someone trust you with $200,000 if all you do is pay your mandatory bills? You need your phone, you need to, your rent, Okay, fine, you got a little car note, but that's called a slim file. You, you haven't done enough, you haven't engaged in enough debt to loan you enough credibility for you to get access to a significant sum of money. Where somebody who has a 680 credit score, somebody, you see, y'all gonna uh, say that you getting blocked, but you don't realize if you keep typing in the same thing over and over, it's considered spam and you automatically get clipped. So keep reposting the same damn thing over and over. Then you be out on here crying and complaining, yo, he be blocking me. It's not me, because I don't be blocking nobody. Stop putting the same damn thing in here over and over and let me get to you. <clears throat> let me get to you in due time. So, like I was saying, if you got a 750 credit score and you pay all your bills on time, but you only have three or four bills that you pay, Someone with a 680 credit score gets in all sorts of debt situ situation scenarios, but they climb out of it for the most part. The 680 credit score entity is more likely to get more money allotted to them than the person with a 750 because they got a slim file. Facts. Because they got a slim file. So, so stuff like that. That's why we add positive items to your report. Most people only know about, oh, I need to remove these negative items. You know you got the right to add positive items to your report too. See? You can add items. You don't have to just be the subject of someone's dry, uh, someone dry snitching. You don't have to be the subject of someone dry snitching. 
you can also add information to your credit report, your score will get boosted because it loans you credibility as a consumer because it says that you can make intelligible decisions. So we add data to your credit report. Instead of just fighting the negative items, we add positive items. No one talks to you about that. But how come you know and other people don't know? Because from 12th grade, from pre-K to 12th grade is 14 years of school. Did they teach you anything about credit or real estate? No, they didn't. In fact, if you want to learn something about it, you got to pay money to go to college. It's insane. Yeah, I got my own style. You know, you know what's crazy about people? Yeah, you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number when you're ready to purchase. Leave your full name and your phone number when you're ready to purchase the service. Two thousand dollars gives you access to anywhere between one hundred grand to three hundred grand inside of forty-five, sixty business days. Granted, give or take, it may take a little longer because of the political polarization of global uncertainty between the pandemic and now this war. All the bills and everybody are allotted a little bit of wiggle room to make excuses. Yeah, but as far as my style, I, people think that everybody's supposed to wear a standardized style. All your all your glasses should look the same way. You should wear certain colors like blue jeans and black boots or Air Force Ones. I don't, I don't, I, I got my own style. <coughs> I, I've always had my own way of doing things. And people want to box you in. Oh, you need a stylist. Oh, you need this. This place used to say that because the people saying that I get paid to wear a lot of the clothes I wear. And the reason why I got I started getting paid to wear what I wear is because I caught people's attention that like my style, like my approach. I caught people's attention that love my approach. So that's interesting. But to each his own, it's subjective. But I'll never tell another man what I would like to see him in as opposed to what he already has on. That's just nasty. That's nasty. But I got my, my way. You know, it's about sexuality, it's about how you feel, it's expression, it's all art. It's all one and the same. Art is expression, expression is sexuality. It's how you feel. You know, if you wake up and you feel like you gotta do everything the same way everybody does it, you live a horrible world. That's a sad life you live in. You live in a sad world. Oh no, your socks too high, they say in my last Instagram post. Looks like you're wearing leggings. I'm like, why would you say something like that? You never saw somebody wear their socks up high? But when I do it, it gotta be leggings. You know, oh, you should stop posting materialistic stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's crazy. When I do it, it's always something. Always, oh, you wearing a purse. You know, it's a satchel. You know, people in the military wear satchels, right? You keep your books or certain important items in a satchel. Right now, wearing a satchel is kind of a style. It's a militaristic style. It comes from the military. But you don't know what a fucking satchel is because you have no concept of history. So you see me with it and you want to condemn me, so you say it's a purse. When it's a damn satchel. And I happen to have written over 90 books. And you put a book in it, you put small books in a satchel. Or your blueprint or your game plan for what you got to do or your maps. It's just crazy how people approach the world. If I wear my socks up high, it's dangerous for me, but if somebody else wears their socks up high, it's all right. Let's just keep it real. You're angered because I'm just doing better than you. That's all it is. And you're looking for any little thing you can, you can go against me and say. It's sad. And then these are the people I'm supposed to do something for. <clears throat> That's why I said I'm stopping the service soon. Because I'm... I'm to petition to people that's constantly attacking you is like crazy. It's like I got my own way of doing stuff. I've never, I just don't understand why men will petition to another man. I, I want to see you in this. Stop wearing that. You know, and then go out their way to just lie, embellish. Oh, he's wearing a purse. Oh, he's wearing leggings. Like, come on, they get my socks is up. It's, it's below my knees. I just wear my socks high below my knees. Why the hell would you say leggings? You're too intelligent to wear those bright colors. <laughs> but then if you're intelligent, people say that you're brilliant or you're bright. But I got to wear dark colors? <laughs> Yo, I leave all these... If you read the comments on Instagram, you'd be like, wow. 
people say anything. Oh, stop being so materialistic. So I say, oh, what make you say that? Because I'm in front of my expensive car, wearing expensive clothes. Now, here's the question. If I was in front of an inexpensive car, wearing inexpensive clothes, and I took the picture, would you say, stop wearing inexpensive clothes and inexpensive Stop driving in expensive cars and wearing expensive clothes. Would you say that? Would you be annoyed? Yeah, you probably would be. You would probably say, this nigga's talking about money, but look, he ain't got no money. Look at that inexpensive car and inexpensive clothes. You can't win with people. But people could wear what they want to wear, and so long as it doesn't cost a lot, there's no complaints. If I take a picture in front of my car, I'm being materialistic. But if I took a picture in front of somebody's Toyota, I wouldn't be materialistic. So what are we really mad at? You're mad at the price. Crazy. You gotta do what you want for you. Because at the end of the day, people are so upset that other people have. Every time they see something that they don't have, they find a, they attempt to subconsciously make the person who has feel insecure so they can stop doing what they're doing. They would like people who have more than them to feel uncomfortable about doing the things that they do with the things they have because they just can't stand seeing someone else have it. So they see you with something nice, they gotta condemn you for having on something nice and hopes you will stop wearing it. Oh, stop Stop being so materialistic. Oh, I know what you mean. Stop taking pictures with my expensive car. That's called being materialistic. Because if that's the case, it should be materialistic to just take a picture in front of a car, no matter what the car is. But it's only materialistic if the car is expensive. You see how that works? You don't wear nothing black, da 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 da. I got thousand dollar shades on. This, this from a black woman, Fenty. You don't wear nothing black. They lie. I got an eight hundred dollar hat on. Keith and James, red bottom hat. It's a black man's brand. But then what do you say, man? You know how much small businesses you could have put that money in. So then now, I'm not supposed to shop and buy high end products from black people. So you see people say all this bullshit. You don't wear black brands. All you do is, well, yo, I don't think y'all wearing thousand dollar glasses made by black people. I invest that much into people's black brands. If I like it, I buy it. And I'm gonna keep it a buck. When I first started buying this brand, I didn't know it was Rihanna's. I bought it cause I liked it. Cause I saw the uniqueness in it. Cause a lot of times I buy what I buy, I buy things that's only, they only make two copies of or three, three sizes of it and it's only in 20 different stores, 30 different stores, that's the stuff I buy. Because for me, that qualifies the price. <clears throat> I don't buy stuff just because of the name brand. In fact, I don't even like the words, I don't like to be branded. So I don't like to, if you notice, I don't wear stuff where you can see the name. I wear stuff where it's a style that's so distinct, if you know, you know. But I don't like nobody's name written all over me. I, I'm not into that. Let's just like my boxing clothes and gym clothes. There's Mayweather brand and I, I rock together as my brother. And again, people don't consider I'm supporting a black brand where I wear Mayweather shirts and TMT hats because he's already rich, so it doesn't count that I'm supporting him. And Rihanna's already rich, so it doesn't count that I'm supporting her. And James already rich, so it doesn't count that I'm supporting him. <laughs> I'm not supporting black people unless I buy cheaper clothes. But again, I wear what I like, what I like. I don't never go out my way and knock somebody for what they like. This is me. I, I got a thing where I just be against the system. So my style is against the system. That's how I am. I got a style that's just against the system. Who want me to wear standardized glasses? What kind of glasses are those? The type that's not like the other ones. That's, that's what I'm into. I don't want to wear no shit that look like everybody got that type of style. I want when you look at me, you do a double take, like what the fuck? I wonder. And then I pull that shit off. Cause if I, if I couldn't, I wouldn't be getting paid. <laughs> but you know, we do what we want to do. I wear no regular type of belts and a red bottom belt. You see, it's just be, it's I had I like this. This is convenient, and I like these spikes here. You feel what I'm saying? My red bottom shoes. Like, I just do what I do. Do what you do. That's all. I just, that's how I am. I'm a, uh, what y'all call it, Leo? 
maybe I got something to do with it. I just, I just like when I walk in, damn, he put that shit together. That shit different. But you can see I put some thought and some effort in. It could be hit or miss. But shit, it's always a hit for me. If, if I walk out with it, it's a hit for me and that's all that matters. Yeah, I just do it my way. I can't stand to see, go in a room, everybody have the same fucking tuxedo, and, and if we gotta go and all wear suits, everybody gonna wear the same bow tie and everybody comfortable, and then if I wear a different one, I'm the one that's fucked up, I'm thinking everybody else fucked up. You walked in a room with a clones. I ain't no fucking clone, I think for myself. Every time I go somewhere, it can be a thing, but I guarantee you, I'm gonna stick to the thing, but you gonna see me and say, whoa, I'm going, cause I'm not, I'm not about to be in a room with 200 lookalikes. I ain't about to do that. I can't come in a room and be number 223. I'd be numero uno. <clears throat> I can't go to the club and look like everybody in the goddamn club. I gotta, I gotta stand out. I'm distinct cause I think different. So why should I dress, why shouldn't I dress different since I think different? I dress the way I be fucking thinking. My mind be all over the motherfucking place. My mind is just, I, I shape my thoughts differently. So my glass is gonna be shaped differently. Yeah, <clears throat> you can't be afraid to just do things your way. Step out of what everybody tell you to do. Do, your, do the shit you, the way you like to do it. Do it the way you like to do it. What were people talking about? Do it your way. And if they don't like it, fuck them and feed them fish. <laughs> Whatever that mean. But yo, if they don't like it, it is what it is. Do your thing though. Because it's the people who are not afraid to be innovative that change the world. It's motherfuckers that conform to a standard of making sure, well, when people see me, at least I know this is the safe way to dress so nobody's gonna judge me. Those are people, they don't make no change in the world. It's, it's those of us that's like, I'm gonna do my shit different. I don't start be like, man, why would I pay for that? That looks like everything else, it just has an expensive name on it. I ain't buying no shit just because there's a fucking name on it, part of my language. I'm buying some shit cause I'm like, yo, that shit look drippy. I don't care, that's why, like I said, you don't see me wearing shit with names all over me. I ain't no slave, I don't need to be branded. I don't, I, what's the sense in buying an expensive sweater cause it says Balmain across the chest? That's corny to me. I ain't buying no shit just cause it say Balmain. Come on, I'm buying some stuff because I love the color scheme, it make me feel like royalty, I like a lot of black, gold, white. You know, buy what you like. And, and dig the style and the fashion and the art. I'm in it with the art. Give me the artwork. The hell with a damn name. Give me the artwork. You see? And when I walk these streets, people don't know I spent a thousand for this. They don't have to. <clears throat> but goddamn, I bet you people feel like I spent a thousand. Because by the time they look at my whole drip, they feel the energy. That's for if you know, you know. If you don't know, I don't expect you to even think, think that. Because you don't know, you're not to know. But people that know and they see red bottom and different stuff, but, you know, I'm saucy. But I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't have to wear something that has someone's name on it for you to feel like it's dope. I should be able to buy something and the way that shit cut into the style, you feel like it's dope. Then I, then I did the damn thing. That's what this is about. That's what the whole art of dressing up is about. You could sometimes pull some shit off for like a little 80, $80. And you might pull up some shit and look like a million bucks by somebody... Bust they asked about a shirt with a name across it and they look like trash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all about art. It's about your energy, your personality, your confidence. You come out that house and you ain't confident, but you got some expensive shit. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you anyway. You come out that house super confident and you ain't got no expensive clothes on, you look like a million bucks to people. I promise you. It ain't about it ain't about no money like that. It's about the person, the personality, the spirit, the energy, and the confidence. It's real talk. <clears throat> yeah, this is why I used to do a lot of them stock classes. Yeah, y'all wanna keep seeing me on the corner debating these crazy ass Hebrew Israelites for absolutely free. <clears throat> Sometimes. So you gotta make a little transition. The younger brothers gotta come behind me and keep the movement going. I'm not stopping the movement, but I gotta also show you this is another part of the movement, manifestation.
manifestation. But anyway, I gotta bust a move. Make your money. Stop sitting there pretending like shit is peach. They on our heels right now. And pretty soon, when you decide, oh, let me just get up right now and start to attempt. Let me attempt to get this money now. It might be too late by that time. You might have to be worried about more immediate things like food. And shelter. Trust me, they turned around and hit this fucking place. Man, listen. Yo, they don't even got to hit us with any bomb or anything. They just hit somewhere else. And it's going to impact us in the worst way. Our people. Gas is going to $7.50 a gallon. Yeah, sure. Tell you what, though. If you put your money in gush, like I did. See? We're going to have a stock class again. I'm going to point you all in the right direction. Go to brotherpolite.com. Get your gold in the prices class. Because you're going to see prophetical accounts of how it's going to help you right now. Get your silver tsunami course to prepare for silver tsunami course number two. Which is on sale right now at brotherpolite.com. So you can prepare for how to deal with the political polarization of global uncertainty. Yo, I told y'all about that gush a long time ago. That bitch was $13 at one point. Check it out now. When I was on Sinetta channel, he put me on. So what stocks are pretty good? I told you about gush. That shit was around $37 when I did that class for free and gave them game for free. And while all of them like to mock and, oh, look how he dress up. Oh, I heard you in Hollywood. You're doing Holly weird things. Oh, you like white women, da 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 while they lie on me and joke and mock and ridicule me, all those people can make money from that free class. I'm going to find that damn class. And say, look at what the stock is doing now and look at the published date. <clears throat> look at the date. Look at the date of that class that I gave for free on a channel. Well, you see, it's black this, black that, pro-black this, pro-black that, but people don't make making money being pro-black. They don't add that into the equation. What about uh, Hertz? When that bitch was 10, 15, 13 cents, 30 cents. Now look at it. No lie, I got Gus back in GIC, made bread and sold it, and looking at it now, sick. Yeah, Langston Lanky, door him. I know. Shit crazy. <clears throat> Shit crazy. Sick. But at least you made your bread. Imagine people ain't did nothing. Yeah, we going back into the stocks this week. Look out for your in the money text. Get your courses on brotherpolite.com. We all the way up. We about to do this. I'm too smart to be broken. It costs way too much to be poor. Don't get caught out there lacking in resources. We on the cusp of Cold War II, if not World War III. When the shit hit the fan, it's going to be too late to start. Oh, you know, I'm going to save up this money. It's going to be too hard to save up the money to get the money. Spend the money now to get the money later. You thinking you got later, and you're going to wind up in the now hurt. Gush went crazy. I already know. <clears throat> From $8 last year. <clears throat> and all of you that keep up with me know I said, fuck with Gush. Now the bitch damn near $100. Talk to me nice. Fuck is they talking about? I've been on this. Gush went crazy. I mean, and people want to act like I ain't been teaching the people. I am the stimulus package. I'm going to find these published videos and show the date and the time I was talking about it. The date and the time. Time code, date, time, marker, and show people. Whoa. Go to brotherpolite.com and get your courses. And when you're ready to spend a 2K to get access to over 100K, between 100k to 300k in credit, spend 2k. We do the credit restoration microwave. Leverage your newly found credit results after com communicating, corresponding with over 30 different financial institutions and credit bureaus. Get your bread. Spend the money. Sit back. Relax. Those of you that's been in my stock classes know the money is good, and we about to do it again because now we back in another crisis. We about to do. Gold in a crisis part two. <clears throat> we about to do gold in a crisis part two after we do silver tsunami part two. Cause we back in the same situation we was in before. We milked the economy last time. We're gonna do it again a second time. Get ready for it.
Those of you that don't got going to price is the first one, get it now before we do part two. <clears throat> Those of you that ain't, don't got Silver Tsunami part one, get it now and study it before I do part two. Part two is coming out in like three weeks from now. Talk to me nice. Blessings and abundance, y'all.